We just go with the medium. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Secret. Fine. Give me the corn. I'm gonna put it on now. Well, why don't we do that while we open? We, we need time here, man. Yeah. So we can be talking. So do the thing. What thing? Just talk. Do the thing. We'll go in. We'll make the stuff. We, we're oh, gonna start shoot the a show. Fun, yes. Oh, okay. This episode of iFanboy is brought to you by GoDaddy.com and Netflix.com. Hey, welcome to the third annual iFanboy 4th of July comic book cookout. It's starting. I'm Ron Richards, and I'm here with... Connor Kilpatrick. I'm Josh Flanagan, and I have corn. You do have corn. Josh is going to put some corn on the grill, and what we would like to do on these barbecue shows, if you haven't seen them before, is we like to get some listener mail, or viewer mail, and, and answer those while we cook. We have some Just get rid of that. corn that Josh is doing, we have some other food behind Ron that we're going to get to in a bit, but... What makes this corn special, Josh? It's, uh, you're going to, a lot of people will grill corn and they keep the husk on. Yeah. yeah. What I do is I make a herb butter, okay. and you, you put it all over the outside, and then you cook it over high heat, and you let it get all charred up, and people think it's burned, but it's not. It's good. Right. <laughs> herb butter, huh? So Josh <laughs> but they're not. <laughs> <laughs> You're missing them. <laughs> You're missing them. All right, so, so as Connor mentioned, we're going to be cooking some good food. We're going to be answering uh, your emails. Emails. Um, and, so and, let's, and we're going to talk about the food while we, while we do this. So let's yeah, get going. Let's, let's do our first question. Do we need to put anything else on before we do this? Or? Uh, you can put, put some chicken Chicken wings? Whatnot. All right, Ron's got some chicken wings here, Ron. Um, <laughs> after I do the first question, we'll talk about the chicken wings. Sure. First question is from Jeff. And Jeff says... Do any of you enjoy no, comic book related merchandise? I'm not thinking about action figures. The, I'm talking of stuff along the lines of Star Trek glasses at Burger King mm. or a Batman calendar, maybe a Wonder Woman mug, something like that. Do you enjoy these kind of objects? Yes. Yes. I, we, I, 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 if I remember correctly, we all purchased from the, w, the, the now defunct WB store those uh, DC pint glasses. Yes. Which uh, I have a Flash and a Batman that I don't use. They're on a shelf. That WB store was fantastic for the that WB stuff. Store, that WB store was awesome. When I, that place, I still have a Kyle Rayner keychain. When that place, that place was just a, a mecca of comic book related swag. I yeah, mean, yeah. I had probably three or four of those mugs. Yeah. And I'm probably down to two or one. I got one. I got a Hal Jordan little plasticine figure. Yeah. Um, yeah. But and the, my pint glasses are on a shelf along with my Empire Strikes Back Burger King glasses. I have those as well. Yep. I, I don't have that stuff anymore. I went through a thing where like I was getting too much. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, it's fun to get, and when you first get out of college and you have like a credit card, you're like, I can buy everything I want, and then all of a sudden you have way too much stuff. Yeah, that, I had that problem. Yeah. And so I and definitely you, and, and it, that comes out not yeah. so much when you're living, when you, when move. you move. Yes, like when I moved, exactly when I moved recently, I moved to San Francisco, and I got a I got a one ton dumpster, <laughs> and probably about a quarter of it was all episode one material. <laughs> like why I had Jar Jar Binks Beanie Babies, I is beyond me. Like no when, when when was I? I'm like, yes, that's a good purchase. So, so I tuned it way down. It's like toys or anything else. Like. Yeah. It has to be really good for me to want to clutter up my life with it now. I currently have just the one pint glass, which has survived, is the Flash one. Yep. Which I like to say is too fast to break. I have green, well, really mine wasn't. And um, <laughs> I have a Justice League of America coffee mug, oversized coffee mug. Yep. Which has got Brian Stelf, really nice Brian Stelfreeze art around it. Ooh. It's all the, um, the like, the Morrison. You can do that stuff. The Morrison era league. <laughs> so the, the top seven plus Kyle Rayner. Do you um, leave a little space? I know, but we're, we're, we don't have a lot of room. But if you don't leave space, it won't cook good. It steams it instead of making it crispy. Okay. All right. This is this is gonna this is how it's gonna be. I see. <laughs> you made me stand in front of the grill. <laughs> it's hot. Kind of cranky. We should no, no, mention that last year we did this. It was 102 degrees today. It's probably in the mid 80s. It's like yeah. 85. It's, yeah. it's actually a nice day today, but well, it's still kind of hot. We're on beautiful Long here. Island. I'm good over here. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. Um, so that's I, it for for merchandise. Well, as far as the toy, like I, I buy way less toys than I used to. Yeah. I used to buy a lot more toys for the same reason. Yeah. And I kind of follow the same thing. Like, it's got to be really cool. Um, statues was the more recent yeah. one, but I haven't bought any new statues in a while. You know what else I bought from that WB store was those plushy Batman, uh, uh, the, the plush figures. Yeah. What? Those. I don't know what happened to mine because I had uh, them. I had all the main ones yeah. except for Aquaman because he was my next purchase in the store closed, yeah. and then I lost Batman. I had uh, at least that's two irony. Green I know. I have Superman. Yeah. I've got Bat. I've got. Robin, Catwoman, Wonder Space Woman, Space Ghost, Green Lantern, Space Ghost. Yeah, Space Flash, Ghost. Martian Manhunter. You know it's a recent Batgirl, but no Batman. You know it's a recent purchase. Not so much tchotchkes or, or toys or anything like that. With those mighty mugs, that's the that's the latest one, I guess. I have one. Yeah, I have two. I have Cap. Um, I have Captain America. All gifts. That's all I Thank want. You. The only Fall other one I'm gonna sister. buy. What? Hawkeye, if it ever comes out. Yeah. I'm done. My sister got me a Biggs for my birthday, which is pretty cool. Mm, I don't know what that is. Dark Lighter from Star Wars. Oh, the mustache. Biggs. Gotcha. Biggs. Um, I know, but my, re my, I my, recent, my recent kind of obsession, as I found out the hard way, again, from moving, is 
like at cons, like artists have those little like 11 by 17 prints and mm. stuff like that. You do a lot of like, those. I've got a bot, like I've got a Cliff Chang, I've got a David LaFuente, I've got like all these ones. I don't know where to put them. I don't have frames. Frame I know, but I don't have wall space. I, it's like that's well, yeah. So this is the uh, it's like a gallery now. Complexity is a rotates. modern life. It Talk is. about chicken. It is. <laughs> so what do you do with the wings here? Step, so the wings. These are standard. Um, these are standard uh, wing chicken leg kind of drumette kind of things. Mm -hmm. You can get them at any store, any supermarket, whatever. Um, with uh, honey barbecue, barbecue sauce poured on. I think we did this last year too. Yeah. It's, it's and Stay at our at our barbecue, um, honey barbecue uh, sauce. Put them all in a bowl, mix in the barbecue sauce. Get your hands, get your hands dirty. Get them in there, mixing together, um, and then put the bowl in the fridge for a couple hours. Forget about it. Come back, put them back here. Don't lick your fingers directly out of the raw chicken. Very good. What about licking the raw chicken? Because I like to do that. I just like to eat the raw chicken. Fine. I find when you lick them, and you pour yeah. the sauce on, the stuff sticks better. Yeah, and yeah. then you die. Yeah. So that's cool. So and so you I put, love them, on, you put them on the grill, and you just want to. And the thing is, is that because there's because there's sugar um, in the barbecue sauce, the barbecue sauce can char real quickly. So you want to keep you know keep flipping them and that sort of thing. Is the heat too low? Yes, it doesn't seem like they're need, cooking. Yeah. yeah, we need more we more, need more, heat. more juice. Seems like they're just sort of sitting there. Although they still look tasty. Yeah, All right. They're good. Question number two is from Chris from Queens, New York. What's up, Chris? Chris said, if you, had you to, doing? if you had to choose at least one, which major series would you want to be concluded in the near future? I don't mean sister titles. I mean the big boys like Amazing Spider-Man or Superman, or any of the series that seem to have been around forever. The series you choose would have, to, would have a big final story, and then the title would cease to exist forever, in big caps. So if you, had, if you could end a series, what series would it, it be? be? One I don't care about. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I was like, is Deadpool Deadpool I don't think it counts That's as not major. Uh, I'm talking about kidding. a series that's been around for like decades. Uh, um, He's talking about the main, yeah. the main tier. The uncanny X Men, the yeah, Amazing Spider Man, action comics. I wouldn't care if X Men went away. I know you would not yeah. choose that, but like, it would either be that or like Fantastic Four. I mean, like, I don't, because I don't care. Yeah, I think maybe Fantastic Four could be a good. Um, if Fantastic category. Four ended and no one here to follow, would it, would it actually no, end? No, it wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, that, that's. But they can't cancel it because it's like the first. Well, that's the, that's the thing is that I don't want to, I don't want to play the no, you know, not going to happen, but it's not going to happen. I mean, None like, of those books like, are DC's not going to cancel Batman right. as much as I would like them to. They're not going to cancel it, you know. And, and um, <laughs> you know, I could see. But so, so if you if you look at Marvel and DC, as those are kind of mainstays. If you go into more of the, the other companies, I could see Spawn ending. Absolutely, Spawn's well, been around yeah. for, for yeah. about a decade. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, it's been out. It's been out since 1992 or one or whatever. Could you know, DC's have its dragon stuff. ending? No, no. Spawn no. could end because. Eric Larson has the commitment to keep Savage Dragon going. And Tom McFarlane doesn't. He's making is baseball he, player toys. Is he inking? What's he doing in that he's book? Doing so, he, no, he's he's co-plotting it. He's drawing Image United. He's drawing the spawn bits in Image United. But not the series book. Because the series book is, is listed as he's... No, the series book he's inking, I think. Like, yeah, he's, he's inking. Yeah. Um, I feel no, like Greg, Greg, Greg Capullo's inking. He's plotting. He's, McFarlane's not doing anything for the spawn book, I don't think. I he just think gets on the phone inking. and he's like, yeah, yeah, make spawn fight a... Bear. Be ice really cream cool truck. If we had him do something. Why does he sound like he's from Brooklyn? He's, he's from, from Canada, Canada and lives in Arizona. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. I love it though. He's fantastic. Oh, if, I you can cancel, ever, if you can ever, if you can ever, wait, on if you can ever find the audio of the Gary Groth interview from the Comics Journal from the early '90s, it's out as an MP3 on the web. You can find it. There's a man with with no self-esteem issues. It's possibly <laughs> the best com the weirdo comic book journalism listening I've ever done. It's fantastic. Cancel the Wildstorm universe. Yes. Oh yeah. Just totally shut good. it totally down. Good. Tell shut a down. great Authority story. Yep. 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 They keep. Going. Tell them whatever happened to the Wildstorm Universal Tomorrow story yeah. and just shut the, shut, turn the lights up like the end of Cheers. Mm -hmm. Lights like, off. Yeah, dum, exactly. Dum, yeah. Dum, 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 Thanks dum. for the memories. Listen, when Diana left the show, it was over. Everything Diane? else was just a death Whatever. Diana was Wonder Woman. I, didn't, I never liked oh, Diana. Diana. Wonder, Wonder, I actually like Kirstie Alley better. Kirstie Alley better. Yeah, yeah. I like Robin Colcord. Well, everyone Robin liked Colcord. Robin Colcord. He was the guy that owned the restaurant upstairs. Roger Reese? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah, he was great. Yeah. Who knows his real name and not Robin Colcord? He was on For my entire life, whenever I see him on anything, I'm like, there's Robin Colcord. Because he was on my so-called life, and I knew him from that. So, as the and Kirstie Alley was Rebecca. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, and so. we're off. No, no, I mean, oh. topic. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we are? Topic, the rails. <laughs> Sorry. I, I apparently... I unintentionally feigned technical mishap. <laughs> this is a good time for commercial break, so we'll take one real quick, come back, we'll have some more food. Lovely. Hey, everybody. GoDaddy.com has what you need. And what do you need? Well, .com names are as low as $1.99 a month. They got world-class hosting, fast and free website builders. GoDaddy's hosting plans have 99.9% .9 uptime, free 24-7 support, and no annual commitment. The private domain registration from GoDaddy.com protects your privacy by keeping your address, phone number, and more out of the public database. You can customize your own virtual dedicated server by choosing one of three popular plans or by selecting your own Linux or Windows server with all the plan options you might need. You can get a GoDaddy.com secure certificate for your website, and visitors, prospects, and customers will have total confidence in your online business. And if you're a podcaster or a video blogger, you're going to want a .tv domain name to stand out from the crowd. Also, be sure to check out revision3.com slash GoDaddy for all iFanboys GoDaddy deals and codes. 
Who was getting hot? A bit of sweat just went well, yeah, right down the butt. Yeah. Went yeah. into the butt crack. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Sorry, it's pleasant. TMI. And you're, you're right in front of the food, which is nice. I know. Which is nice. But the, smell, yeah. the food smells good. So, question of food. Question of food. Uh, food. Well, let's, let's do some food. Let's put okay. some more food on there. So, uh, do you want to talk about the ribs here, Josh? Yeah, we cheaped out. <laughs> uh, it was like, do you want to cook ribs? Rib cooking is a, it's a fucking severe process. Now, here's the thing. We have a good rib recipe. I have a great rib recipe. What you do is you take baby back ribs, or even spare ribs it works with, and you cut them into like, like square chunks. Fours. Yeah, you cover them all with salt and pepper on both sides and you stack them three high, like three on top of each other. You put them in an oven at 300. The night before. Yeah, six, six or four, or four hours. Um, you cook them uh, three high at 300 degrees in an oven and then every half an hour you rotate them. So the, the one on top goes on the bottom and that bases them without boiling them. Because when you boil them, all the flavor and all the juices and the fat come out of it and there you got nothing left. Right. So, so, and so then you take them out of the oven, you wrap them in tin foil, um, you, no, I put sauce and stuff all over yeah, you, them. Yeah, you, you put, put the barbecue sauce on them, then wrap them in tin foil, then put them in the fridge overnight, then the next day, put them on the grill and you're just reheating them because they yes. cook basically in the oven. So we bought the ones that you reheat. Yeah, we, we went to so the store. So imagine that we did that. Yeah. And it's very good. I've yeah. done it. But these many are times. good too. These are baby back ribs. And we don't have the time. Exactly. Uh, real rib people, like, yeah. like if you're cooking like on a smoker or whatever, spare ribs, are yeah. the, the, but they're harder to cook because if you do it wrong, they're very tough. Baby mm. back ribs are kind of easy. Mm. I'm kind of a rib guy. I like baby back ribs. I've because they're easy. But there's, there's more fat. They cook easier. Yeah. But when you really do it like with a slow, long smoking process, the spare rib. Yeah. I almost accidentally bought beef ribs. I don't, I don't like, like the Flintstones. I like they're fun to eat. They're, they're like this big. Yeah, yeah, they're and you can hold the end of the bone to yeah. do this. But I don't really like them. Yeah. They're fun. Like yeah. I like their visual. They ask a question about comic books. Duff asks. Sorry, I just can't <laughs> stop tinkering. Yeah. Should we close it or no? No. Okay. I've recently gotten into comic books and started to fill up my collection with trades. I found that this has been easier to catch up on titles that I have been missing over the years, like Fables or Why the Last Man or other books. My question is, is there a certain reason to try and buy a monthly book? Is there a benefit to reading something in issues versus trades? Is it just the thrill of having the new story every month? To that same extent, if I did try and get into a monthly book, should I just jump in and start buying it no matter where it is or wait until a certain arc is over and start buying it then? Oh, this is the, the question. Yeah. Of the, the question for our time. Well, no, no, the question is more is what's the benefit to the monthly book versus the trade book? Uh, well, the story benefit, you the, reader, tend the reader benefit. To, well, you know, like some issues um, are written more for a monthly standpoint. When I say that, I think of guys like, guys like Brian K. Vaughn, to me, is the master of the monthly book. Like, he does right. a single issue that's really excellent, but it ties into a larger thing. Not everybody does that. Brubaker, another guy who I love, really doesn't mm. tend to write so much for the issue. He writes for the long story. He writes story. long form, so does Bendis. And they just sort of split it up in there. In, those, in the cases of those guys, the benefit to the issues is that you get to be involved in the conversation. I guess it's going on as it's happening. Because part of the fun of those books, the superhero books, the mainstream stuff, is that Everybody's talking about them. Yeah. I mean, that, that really, that adds a lot to them. And a lot of people wonder why you keep reading superhero books. Well, because that part of it is a lot of fun. Like, they're fun, but also... I, 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 I draw the analogy to the water cooler in television, in that, in that you know, like Mad Men is a series a lot of people like, all this kind of stuff. When those episodes are on, the next day, everybody's talking about it. Yeah. And yet, if you don't watch it and you wait for the DVD, then you sit there and you watch it alone in solitude, and then you're like, hey, did you watch Mad Men six months ago? When <laughs> they don't remember. Yeah, exactly. So, so it has to do with that, is that whether or not you want to be in the moment. And some books, you know, some books I could never switch to trades. I know you would prefer to switch to trades, or you, you don't need, you could live without the issue. Yeah. You know, but, yeah. I, but for me, like, you know, issue on Kenny X when it comes out, I got to read it the day it comes out because I want to know what's going on because I don't want to miss a, me a moment. Well, there's, there's an element of that. There's also, for, my, for me, it's, there's an element of I don't want stacks and stacks of issues all over my yeah. apartment. That makes sense. Right. But that's I another do, issue. I do yeah. find, yeah. though, that I tend to switch to issues when I get to that point because right. I want to know what's coming next. Right. Because um, a lot of I, some things, like, I, for me, when I buy trades, I want them to be something really great. Yeah. That I'm going to have for a long time on my shelf, so it's like a book, like like, like the same reason you would buy. Yeah. It's something yeah. like a DVD, like Ooh, you would nice. buy. Yeah. That was a good. That was a good it's noise. Good pop, fat. Nice. Fat. That was a good smell too. Better. You could, but okay. you don't have to. I like flipping. I know you want to. Ron's gonna rotate. Um, but but there's all sorts of reasons. Like the th so a lot of things that I buy in issues, I might not, I may not never go get in trades because it was really worth it. Sure. You know what I mean? Like crappy TV shows or movies that you go see in the theater, but you wouldn't buy on a DVD. If that makes sense. Yeah, like they're they're fun at the time. Uh, other than that, I you mean, think of something you read now that you wouldn't that you wouldn't. A lot of the mainstream superhero stuff, I don't think what, I would go back. What and happens? Get. I get splatted. Oh. He lost an eye. He made the look like I just made made a mistake, and I thought maybe he dropped. Um, no, no, no. Like I squeezed the chicken, I got chicken juice. That's true. Face. A lot of the mainstream superhero stuff, I, I wouldn't be. You know, the really good stuff would be fine, but. I use that as like a proving ground. Like mm -hmm. that's where I want to find things and see what's going on, and that's what I use issues for. Right. Um, see, 
this is how you want the wing to look. That's mm. caramelization, that's yeah. flavor. Yeah. Mm. Can I eat that? No. All right. You they look it. really good, by the way. The little, the little wings, there's nothing more satisfying than making your own little wings. I absolutely <laughs> love it. Sorry. That's okay. All right, well, we got a good sort of... Ooh, ooh. That one. Yeah, they Sorry. can't see that, but that's awesome. Yeah. No, um, the burner's definitely on over there. Yeah. You want to rotate in and out. This particular grill is a new cold. grill for us, and it's, um, it, it took a little while to heat up, but now that it's heating up, we see it, everything's cooking real nice. Yeah. Keep your eye on those ribs, Josh, because they, they don't take too long to cook. They're, not, they're already cooked. We wouldn't really be able to do anything to them. We're just heating them. Okay. Next question. Caleb says, I belong to the Green Lantern Corps message board with Ethan, where Ethan Vance. I thought you were going to say just the core. <laughs> that would be interesting. <laughs> you're not, it's not real. Caleb says, I belong to the, the Green Lantern Corps message boards where Ethan Van Skyver posts quite frequently. Yikes. I had asked him what he hated most in comic books, and he said Everything. that he, he said, you people. He said that he would want to get rid of showing comic covers three to four months early. What do you guys think? So, oh, I don't disagree. I, I totally do, agree with him. Yeah, I totally agree 100%. with him. Yeah, no, absolutely. However, it's, it's not that that is the bad thing. That is the product of the bad thing. It's right. The, the, or, yes. the order system is that you have to. Everybody orders everything three months in advance of when it comes out. So the re, and it used to be that the only people who would see that were the, the retailers. Yeah. Yeah. And so it didn't really affect But now really you buy us. previews. And, and you screwed it all up. <laughs> and it, no, it shows up online because yeah. that's when yeah. people need content. Yeah. So they see that and they can speculate for three months before the thing comes out. And it's true. It totally ruins comics, I think, and it's really hurting superhero comics because everybody yeah. knows the story three months ahead of time. It ruins. Covers. Well, no, what, no, what, they, no, what, they go, they come no, with it comes out in the blurb too. So what you have, the cover what you have is you have a cover and a blurb. And so the companies have two things. They can actually say what's going to happen, which does build excitement, does build buzz, but ruins the story. Yeah. Or what they can do is they can have a cover that has nothing to do with the this story. This is what I meant when I said ruin covers. And, yeah, and the and the blurb can be something so nondescript that yeah. you have no idea what's happening. I love. So, you know what I love is the Walking Dead. Have you seen the Walking Dead blurb? Walking Dead blurb. He does one word. What does that's it just, say? just a word that's related to the story. Oh yeah. really? That's the whole. That's the whole blurb. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, like oh, escape. Yeah, yeah. And I, but I, I, I've talked about this on ifanboy.com is that when everyone knows three issues are down the line, they don't tend to enjoy the issue they're reading because exactly. they're waiting to get to that three to point. Through. I don't tend to read any. I try to avoid all that. I don't yes, read previews. I don't read previews. I don't read Many people solicitor. do. And that's yeah, the problem. Yeah, right. Well, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. The other thing is they're all on the company websites. Mm -hmm. You can go to DC and Marvel and you can get the, th the next three months. If you do there. that, but you can ignore it. Yeah, I mean, I you can absolutely ignore it. But most I don't have stuff ruined for me. But you know, so if you're going and looking at that stuff. You know, that's the readers. The only time I see the solicitation with. is the um, the week of when we update on ifanboy.com the pull list. That's the only time I see that's it. That's enough yeah. to usually just make you excited. And it's fine, but yeah, yeah, yeah. the problem is well, when someone like knows in three months this major event's happening, they yeah. want to get Again, to Again, to go back event. to the TV analogy, you, get, you used to be you get TV Guide the week of, and you see, you know, so you know, shocking happening things on ER, and you're like, oh, you get all excited. When you know that Carter's leaving in four episodes, yeah. then you're like, oh, well, you know what's coming. Well, so, that was so. like the... When Dr. Ross came back, they didn't yeah. tell you when it was going to be, right. which is stupid for a rating standpoint. It was a, yeah. per, it was, it was a contract thing. Right, but from yeah. a storytelling standpoint, it's great because yeah. it yeah. was a surprise, Yeah. Um, which meant that they really got no benefit from it. Really. Yeah. Are um, we sure I can't have one of those? Because those are, look awesome. Almost. Almost right. there. One of those Slow ones back there. there. Slow down a little. Do we need to, mean to bring the front ones to the back, back to the front? I kind of did that no, a little yeah. bit. Right. Look at you, backseat griller. How is the corn looking, Josh? It's coming along. It takes a while. It's not a short thing. You do it over high heat and you just let it go for a while. You rotate it so one side doesn't burn more than the other. All right, and the ribs? They yeah. <laughs> Largely unchanged. We flip them? No, no, no. No, see, there's no caramelization of the sauce even going on so yet. So what, what, define caramelization there, Josh. Caramelization is when the sugar... I like um, that we use our names a lot in this episode <laughs> more. It's like, Josh! <laughs> it's when the sugar forms a crust like that. Yeah. And, and that's where flavor comes from. So the sugar and the fat come together and form a crust. I thought flavor comes from Marlboro's. It's flavor it's country. flavor country. Oh, okay. That's where the sugar comes from, flavor country. They yes. export it. It's probably like a culinary student out there. Like, <laughs> You're wrong. Stupid. I know, yeah. We're not doing a cooking show. Yeah, we're we almost blew the questions away, which would have been fun. That would have been awesome. So is there another well, well, now we're going to take a quick break. Okay. We're going to pay some bills. I love to answer questions. And then we're going to eat some more food. Thanks to Netflix for sponsoring this episode of iFanboy. With Netflix, you can rent over 90,000 titles online, including lots of Blu-ray titles, with free shipping both ways to your home. They now have over 40 shipping centers, so almost all deliveries happen in just one business day. And Netflix plans start at $4.99, and as a new member, you can get a no-risk two-week free trial membership by checking out www.netflix.com slash iFanboy, and remember to use www when using that code. You'll notice I moved out of the way. Josh couldn't take the heat. I did. I took it for 20 minutes. Yeah, you got out. You so, got out. You so we have... You see my, my hair's getting bigger? That's how you can tell. Finish. Yeah, I know. So as, we're doing, as we're talking about this, I'm watching, like, it get wetter and wetter. <laughs> yeah. It goes up. 
Yeah. Like uh. a plant. So we have chicken on the grill, we have ribs on the grill, we have corn on the grill, but yeah. that's not, we're not done yet. No, we're not stopping there. Ron, you want to tell the people about this? So the, the, the Long Island special, the, uh, <laughs> the Italian sausage, uh, this is the sweet sausage. It's you got your uh, meat. I don't know what kind. I don't care. Pork. I don't want to know. And um, some fennel in there. Um, it's pork sauce. That's what you make sausage from. So, and what we've done is this is coming a little spiral kind of side. Put two skewers in there to make it easier to, to you know, to, to handle. Just right, throw it on right. there. The eye. Well, and there's not really room for it because it's a bit of a smaller grill than we usually use. But there you go. There you go. Yeah, good enough. What can you do? It's gonna get hot real quick, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, thank I'll you. I'll take this. I All guess. Right. Do we have a? We don't have a. Um, we don't have a thing to hold that, do we? No, we don't have any sort of hot thing. I've got a paper towel in my pocket, and I'm hoping that's going to shield me from the heat. You, so, you can use the user emails. That? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> use the, use yeah the, we use the tongs. Here's the use thing the about tongs. this episode. Normally, there's a lot more pre-production involved. This one... Don't tell them. We just kind of showed up. <laughs> All right. And did our thing. So that's the thing. All right, here's our next question. Ooh, it's hot back here. Oh, <laughs> Joe G asks, in an immediate world with the interweb and all, would a maxi series like Crisis on Infinite Earths be popular or relevant today? I ask because it seems like these type of series now die after the first few issues like Countdown, Trinity, and Avengers Invaders. Is anybody actually reading that? When I started collecting in junior high school, maxi series seemed to be almost the norm, but I wonder with the shrinking attention spans if the company should just put something out like Avengers Invaders as an out of continuity book or graphic novel rather than a maxi series. Avengers oh. Invaders is in continuity? Out. That's no, it's a, it is was it a, a, no. They're not, he's saying should they just do them as out of continuity stories? Is Avengers Invaders still being published? Yes. You see, Avengers Invaders is like with dynamite, and doesn't, this doesn't matter. It's out of continuity. Uh, 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 not that dynamite doesn't matter, but like, I, I yeah. disagree with this premise. I think because these are bad series, that's why they're irrelevant. And there's a big difference between Crisis on Infinite Earth and Fifty Two or Scout no, no, not Fifty Two. Countdown, Trinity, and Avengers. Yeah, Invaders. Countdown, and Trinity, Fifty Two are a weekly series. Crisis on Infinite Earth is what twelve, 12. issues? Yeah. yeah. And we've done, we've seen twelve maxi, twelve issue maxi series are more rare. <laughs> yeah. They, they, they people, tend to go six for the trade. Six, six or seven. Seven. Yeah. Seven was Final Crisis and Secret Invasion. Uh, I mean, they've gotten shorter a little, I guess. But I would say that I, when I read, I mean. I bet that people bitched and moaned about Crisis on Infinite Earths when it was coming out in the comic shops in the capacity that they had as much as anybody does now. I, I really think it's just about quality. I mean, Countdown, mm -hmm. Trinity, and Avengers of Vader's are all bad series. Yes. Crisis on Infinite Earths of the time was a good series. Yeah. So if you have that quality series coming but, out... But 52 worked. Right, exactly. And, and for all intents and purposes, Final Crisis worked, and, and, and Civil War and Secret Invasion were both sales successes. I mean, mm -hmm. so... No. And people generally like them. I think for the most part, yeah. most people like them. What so. was the last twelve issue series? I'm yeah. trying to remember it's what a the good last. Good question. The last. I bought the first two issues of Avengers Invaders, and that was a mistake. Bought the first one. Um, Steve Sadowski, right? It looked fine. Yeah, yeah. the no, art was fine. It was yeah, the right. No, no, I know. Yeah. What? No. I don't. I can't remember a twelve issue series that I bought. There's a B for it. Yeah. That's nice. He's, That's he's, lovely. He sees you. You fucking in because he's your old stripe. You're in yeah. red and yellow. <laughs> Nice. Um, Agitate it. Yeah. That's a good idea. Um, um, I'm trying to remember what the last 12 issue miniseries was. It's been All a while. Was Avengers yeah. Forever. Avengers Ooh. Forever was awesome. Carlos Pacheco and Kirby Siak? Yeah. Kirby Siak. Pacheco? Pacheco. 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 You're going you're gonna to lecture me on <laughs> Latino names. Yes. Yeah. Pacheco okay. ends in an O. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like Croco. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. It's, I, I really do think it's a quality. If it's a good series, people people will tolerate it. I don't it's, think it's it is hard to think of a 12-issue miniseries. I think that they, because if you think about it from a business standpoint, you position. You were mentioning the trade, like a 12-issue trade Stick. costs 30 bucks or so. It's two trades, really. Yeah. So they can either do it in two trades, or they can do it in uh, one big one mm -hmm. that costs more and therefore is less likely to sell than like a $20 trade. Right. So it doesn't make so much business sense. Um, maybe that, right. that would work. It's, um, I, I, there, he does a, somewhat of a point about the, about the the way that the internet fandom is anyway. It's, it's very conducive to analyzing everything about the issue that's out. I think that always happened, though. It just, we're seeing But you, it all. you could do it on a larger scale. Yeah. Now, you couldn't do it then. You could bitch with your four friends at the store or yeah, whoever read the books. I mean, th do you that's think like, Final Crisis is like a seven-issue series with all those tie-ins and everything like that equates to a maxi-series? It's almost, because if you take yeah. Superman, if you take the, the issues that Grant Morrison said to read, it's about 12 issues. Yeah. Yeah. So. I really do think it's about quality and not about uh, anything else. All right, our final question, as the meat really starts to caramelize, which looks really lovely. Yeah, your, your, your mouth is watering. I haven't eaten any food today. Yeah. Preparation for this. How is the sausage going? Is it? Uh, it's still early. Don't touch it. It's not even going to be close. I did flip the ribs, though. Rib flipper. And how are the, how's the corn? I don't know. That's Josh's. You're turning your back to all Josh, the good people. Josh's area. 
How's the corn? It's fine. Okay. All right. Jeez. <laughs> You're like the corn apologist. It's fine. <laughs> leave it alone. Just leave, you want to futz with everything all the time. <laughs> Stop picking at it. <laughs> well, because you, you know, men want to futz with meat. That's why this, you don't do that, though. You let it sit there and let it go. Yeah, you, you gotta like, trust yourself. You like to feel like you're doing something. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. This is why men are useless. This is our last question. Uh, final question. Allie from Long Island. Is she here? She's over there. <laughs> last summer on the barbecue show, you guys answered a question about your top five ongoing series. A year later, do you still have the same top five, or are, you, or the, or are there new books on your list? Did we do any research in this? I have the. I was gonna say, I have yeah, of course he did. He's a reticent statistician. <laughs> I have Resident. last year's top five. If you want to hear them, or you want to go and go and go and clean. Uh, I'll go in clean. I'll go in clean. Do you want to go right. first? I'll defer. You go first. I, right. I, I'm trying to. Top five ongoing series. Currently. So that I, the books that I need to buy on a weekly basis. Your, that I your top that. five favorite. Okay. If Un you could only buy five books, these are the five you'd buy. Okay. Uncanny. Uncanny number one. Nova. Nova number two. No, no. Well, Nova's on, it's, on the list. Yeah, okay, I mean, the number's two book. Yeah. Okay, Nova. Uncanny X Men Nova. Savage Dragon. Um. It's really hard. And it's hard to think of the, all the books. Flash. Fla Flash Rebirth. No, Flash, including Rebirth, because right. it's going to go into the ongoing. Okay. That's how that. That's three. Three. Um, no, that's four. That's four. Uncanny, that's Nova, stuff. Savage no. Dragon, Flash. Sort of. Um, and. Um, Flash is a good book. Savage Dragon's a good book, too. I buy that. And I'm going to say New Avengers. Interesting. Wow. You only had one book from last year. Repeat. Would you like wow. to hear your Uncanny? list? Uncanny? Uncanny X Men. Well, because I Captain Britain on Captain there. Captain Britain and MI 13. Yeah. Invincible. Justice Society of America and Young Liars. Well, Young Liars and Captain Rig are canceled. Young Liars are canceled? Yep. And um, Justice Society, Jeff, Justice Society, Jeff John's, John's left. Invincible? Invincible's good. It's probably, that's probably six or seven. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Josh? I like my list. And you say it's I'm going with nostalgia, but Nova's new. It's true. You know, sort of. Yeah. Nova's yeah. a good book, and, and so is, so is um, uh, the Flash The others Rebirth. are Uncanny, Savage, and The Flash. Those are like the books that you won't stop but, reading. Yeah, but, but, I haven't, but Flash, it's been two or three years. Since you haven't stopped yeah. buying it. Well, yeah, no. But, but it's good now. Yeah, so but it's you can't argue with All right, so Josh? That's really tough. Um, Josh had six last year. Did I? Uh, I just you you changed one. You changed one after the fact. Yeah. Um, it's really. I'm trying to like go down the list of things like scalped. Scalp number one. I don't want that to go anywhere. Um, I'm gonna have to skip the tape forward. What about a book like Fables? No. These I can pull. Nova. Down. I'm trying to think the, if I wanted ball, if ball. I wanted Nova or or. This ball? No, the empty ball. This the plate. The empty ball. I wish that I had been able to, to... Oh, it's over here. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I wish that I had been able to prep for this one because I suck at pulling out stuff out of a list like that. Would you like to hear last year's list? Uh, okay, fine. Last year's list, you had Powers, it's Criminal, not, not there. Scalped, not there. Fables, yeah, not there. and originally you had Captain America and then you replaced it with Nova. Wow. I would... I would probably go with, with Nova again because it's been really good. So Scalped and Nova. Time. Scalped and Nova. What about one of the Superman books? Not what about fun. Um, this is this is like, like Vertigo books. Any Vertigo books? You're you're great. the single issue guy now. You've converted. Now you can't, you can't think of any. Well, I just don't. I can't. When you ask me this, this is my <laughs> my thought process. Doesn't think of every book that I buy. Mm -hmm. Like I still I don't remember what I'm buying until I get to the rack and I look at it and I right. go, oh that. Well, so no, 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 know how I kind of do it. I kind of think about what book haven't I read in a while in about a month, or I'm like, oh, I wonder when that's coming out. I don't think about any of them. Oh. <laughs> I can That's probably more telling. I want to come back. Yeah. <laughs> 2005. Yeah, exactly. I, well, so Josh is abstaining. Yeah. All right. I can't remember any of them. Wow. I can't remember anything. It's fucking hot. <laughs> this, these are done? These are done. So we got some... Ah, that's a hot bowl. Yeah, it's metal. It's been in the sun <laughs> next to a grill. Um, all right, so the top five single issues. I would say Scalp is definitely one of them. Um, Amazing Spider-Man. Wow. Good pick. Um, New Avengers. Superman, World of New Krypton. And I'm trying to think of something that's not DC and Marvel. Buffy would have been on, Buffy's no good anymore. Um, right, and I really, Irredeemable, not enough to be in the top five. Well, see, I would have yeah. gone with like Fear Agent, but that's going away. Yeah. Or I would have yeah. gone, you know, like, Let me see. maybe, probably Invincible. I would definitely add Invincible. All right, so you have, so you had, you had, you had, you had Scalps, Nova, and Invincible, and you're, you're three, mm -hmm. your top three. There's something else, and I'll think of it as soon as we're You know what's the problem yeah. is we're in a transitional period. Like, Justice Society was really good. It was on all of our lists last mm -hmm. year. Yeah. Well, not on Josh's, but it was on our, you and I list last year, and yeah. we, it's, it's, it's over now. Yeah, I know. So we're, we are in a, 2009 right now, is a transition year. Right yeah. now, I'd probably go with Green Lantern. 
Ooh, that's Ooh, a good one. Oh, fucking good. Flash, too. Yeah. Flash, yeah. So All right. I'm Flash, sure non -superhero Rebirth, one. Green Lantern, yeah. um, Scalped, Amazing Spider-Man, and um, Superman World of New Krypton. Those are my well, five. Well, because non-superhero, you're talking, I mean, like Echo? I know. There's, Echo's really good. Yeah, Echo's really there's good. There's definitely stuff that I'm just not thinking of right now. Right. I and mean, that's that's all. Fables? Well, Walking we Dead. went through that. I, I would go with Invincible over Walking Dead. Cause yeah, but you've already had a, you could have both on the list conceivably. Eh, Your list I, is quite sparse right now. Sparse? Sparse. Sparse. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. That's all I can. It's the, it's the issue guy. He's dropped yeah. it. Nice. Well, I'm the issue guy? Because you, you, you made a big deal about fucking labels. <laughs> you made a big deal about guy. You're the label guy. You're the label guy. Jesus. So. Indie guy, vertigo guy, label guy, <laughs> issue guy. You're all about issues now. I you am? used to be about trades, now you're about issues. When was I about trades? Early when we first started this show. Ah. Ribs change. are looking good. Oh, those look good. Those are done. So I we got know. ribs. Those ribs are done. We can get a, a plate on those guys. Or them guys on a plate. I read that if you, you know a rib is done, if you hold it upside down and it comes across, it comes apart once the connective tissue is dissolved enough, uh, that's how Don't you know Don't call it done. tissue. Yeah, that ruins it. Yeah. We can put some more wings on there, can't we? Yeah, we could. I just ate off of this, though. I got a problem. <laughs> All you there. <laughs> Cowboy. Infection boy. <laughs> All right, so that's it for the, for the email. You can send them more email at contact at ifanboy.com. We like to do these shows occasionally. Every summer we like to do these, but occasionally we like to answer some email on the show or on our audio show that we sure have to do every week. Uh, you, can, you can leave us a voicemail, which you didn't hear this time because technically it's a pain in the ass. Uh, <laughs> that's at 888-FANBOYS, which is 326-2697. Tell us your name, where you're from, give us a question, keep it short, don't ramble on for a minute and a half about stuff we don't know about. Yeah. And uh, you can go to ifanboy.com where you can uh, join the discussion about this episode, share your barbecue recipes with everybody else, or critique Every time we do this, we get, we, get, we get attacks for our cooking. We so should do a, uh, a, a viewer recipe show. Cook their recipes? Yeah, that's a good idea. Or not. We should just do a cooking um, show. That's yeah. what we should just do. Anyway, um, so go to ifanboy.com, check it out. That We've got great, we got writing, we got the audio podcast, we got articles, we got the comic section. Um, if you go to ifanboy.com forward slash store, you can become a member, which we thank you for, as well as you can purchase a t-shirt, like similar to we did the Herm shirts a couple of months ago. The, the original yeah. limited edition t-shirt? So look out for limited edition t-shirts at ifanboy.com forward slash store. And I'm starving. If I was on the internet, you, I would write nom nom. Nom nom nom. Om nom. Om nom nom. nom. Get, kind of get I'd like for that to go yeah. away. Yeah, yeah that, that's fine. that and fail. I'm yeah, I'd like fail. for those to go. Fail. Fail. No, it's not. No, done. it's not. All right. See ya. <laughs>